The perception certainly exists that the Patriots' roster is too old and slow. Perhaps it's the constant, Tom Brady is showing his age, takes that come from the national media. Despite having found a way to win yet another Super Bowl, for large stretches of the regular season, and at several points in the last few years, cough Super Bowl 52 cough, the Patriots have struggled against younger, faster teams. This is due to several factors. First, and most importantly, the Patriots have not been very productive in the draft for the last few years. In 2016, the Patriots lost their first-round draft pick due to their deflategate punishment. In 2017, the Patriots only drafted four players, only one of whom, Dietrich Wise, made the team. In 2018, despite drafting nine players, when accounting for injuries and roster decisions, running back Sony Michel was the only standout contributor for the team. As a result of this, the Patriots have had to rely on trades and signing free agents to build their team, which results in having a roster comprised of primarily older players. Secondly, Patriots coach Bill Belichick is said to prefer veteran players on his team. But hot takes aside, however you look at it, with free agency and the 2019 NFL Draft looming, here is how the Patriots really stack up. Compared with every other 2018 playoff team, the Patriots did, in fact, have the oldest roster on the field. The average age of the Patriots' 53-man roster that finished the season was 27.6 years old. The average age of the other 11 playoff teams was 26 years old. This table breaks it down, as it turns out, the Patriots roster is almost two years older on average, than any other team that made the playoffs last season. While the Pats still ended up winning the Super Bowl, foregoing draft picks in favor of trades only goes so far. As we saw in the Super Bowl last year on defense, and in the regular season this year on offense, having to rely on retreads instead of fresh talent can take its toll. While the Patriots' latest Lombardi trophy is not even a month old, the Pats will need to focus on drafting and developing younger players if they hope to remain a contender in the years to come. Click here to download the new MyTeams app by NBC Sports. Receive comprehensive coverage of your teams and stream the Celtics easily on your device. Change is coming for the Patriots this offseason. Every day this week, we'll react to one area of the team that either has already undergone a shift, it is in the process of shifting, or will be shifting soon. Today we'll see what kinds of changes the Patriots could make to player contracts in order to free up some cap space ahead of the new league year, change is coming for Patriots bookkeepers. Happens every offseason, and 2019 will be no different. The team will have to make a few changes to contracts ahead of free agency if they want to have the cap space necessary to be in the mix for players on their radar. Say the Patriots would like to make a play for Trey Flowers to keep continuity in their front seven, and say they'd like to try to add both Golden Tate and John Brown to bolster their depleted receiver core. How would they do it? Could they do it? The cap hits for those players in 2019 could very well eat up every last bit of the about $18 million in cap space the Patriots have at the moment. Not ideal, especially since they likely want to re-sign some of their other free agents like Steven Gostkowski and Ryan Allen, have enough space to sign their rookie class, and leave some space left over for mid-season acquisitions. So what can they do? They could extend Tom Brady for another couple years, drop his base salary to the minimum of $1.03 million, and convert his remaining 2019 base salary into signing bonus prorated over the life of his new deal. The result? He gets a raise, and the Patriots get a few million in cap space, not a bad way to start. Then the Patriots can work their way down the roster, and there's more cap space to be had. For instance, Dwayne Allen was a key to the Patriots' Super Bowl victory, allowing them to get two tight ends on the field to pick apart the Rams, but with a $7.3 million cap hit for 2019, he's an obvious candidate for a contract restructure or release. Curran, how do you go about replacing the GOAT? 
the Patriots will have decisions to make on role players such as Adrian Claiborne and Alandon Roberts. If they're looking for more cap relief, they could free up several more million by moving on. Retirements will impact the equation here, too. If those are coming, they could mean millions more in cap space. The bottom line, there are a lot of moving parts salary cap-wise for Bill Belichick and Nick Casario to consider, but if they want to give themselves some financial flexibility ahead of the new league year, they have a variety of options to pursue in order to achieve that goal. Click here to download the new My Teams app by NBC Sports. Receive comprehensive coverage of your teams and stream the Celtics easily on your device. It's never a good idea to trade your best player to a rival team. The Pittsburgh Steelers apparently are operating as such. The Steelers will listen to trade offers from 27 NFL clubs for wide receiver Antonio Brown, the MMQB's Albert Breer reported Thursday. The four teams they won't do business with their three other AFC North competitors, and the New England Patriots. Also in the game plan, four teams the Steelers won't deal Brown to, Ravens, Browns, Bengals and Patriots. HTTPS colon slash slash t dot co slash vvsa 8 xbpo Albert Breer at Albert Breer February 15, 2019 Pittsburgh's stance should surprise no one, but it's a reminder the team still views New England as its biggest threat in the AFC. While the Steelers upset the Patriots in 2018, the Pats won the team's previous five meetings and have had a stranglehold on the conference for the last several years. The downside of that success, Patriots fans can stop dreaming about Tom Brady throwing touchdown passes to the best receiver in the NFL. New England spending big on Brown seemed like a long shot anyway, but the 30-year-old apparently is getting serious about his trade request. He plans to meet with Steelers owner Art Rooney too to iron things out, per NFL media's Ian Rapoport. Steelers wide receiver Antonio Brown will meet with team owner Art Rooney too to discuss his trade request, NFL media's Ian Rapoport reported Friday. Click here to download the new My Teams app by NBC Sports. Receive comprehensive coverage of your teams and stream the Celtics easily on your device.